you trade and only lose, lose, and you're tired of this. And what should you do? And that's the reason why you click on this video, because you saw this on thumbnail and title. My friend, I'll help you to stop losing money. I'll stop. Uh, I'll help you overcome all of this. Watch this video till then, because that would be powerful recommendations that will help you st stop losing and start making money in crypto and scalping. That would be uh, four uh, key points uh, that you need to do. I promise to you, if you implement what I uh, recommend you, you minimum stop losing money. That would be key points. First, it is money management. Uh, what's your edge, patterns you trade, how to do statistic and psychology. Let's start step by step. First, it is a money management. I think money management, it is a key. There are several rules uh, in money management. It doesn't matter what strategy you trade, scalping, uh, smart money, technical analysis, any other approaches, you will need proper money management. Uh, there would be basic rules that you need to implement in money management uh, in a case to avoid lo uh, losing. First, it is to know what's your risk per day. You, in a trading, professional traders, they have limit of uh, how much money they can lose per trade, per day, and per week, some, some of them uh, per month. Uh, by the way, for you, I prepared full lesson, approximately 10 minutes about money management, exactly how to calculate risk, all of this stuff. I will add it in description and that would be in the cards. Watch after this video. Risk per trade, really simple. If you didn't saw that lesson, it is how much you will lose if price hit your stop loss. If you trade without stop losses, why do you trade? Forget about this, it's nonsense, never do it. Because in a trading, what's the major problem of trading? We cannot move the price. You cannot move BTC up or down. But you can choose where to open a trade, what volume to put in, where to get out, set stop loss and take profit. That's why risk per trade, it is your essential stuff that you should focus. And if you don't know what's your risk per trade, uh, that means you are in a trouble. Write in a comment, do you know what's exactly your risk per trade? When you see that you systematically lose, like on, a, on this picture, you see that your win rate dropped by only 13% cut volume. Example, in uh, normal cases, your risk per trade 100 USD. You know that if price hit your stop loss, you lose 100 USD. But when you see that you systematically lose, you can cut it to, for example, $10 per uh, position. Uh, that's what all uh, what I do personally when I see that my win rate dropped. Third part, it is a statistic uh, because uh, only when you track your trades, you know uh, what you do good, what you do ba uh, bad, and you know what uh, what you need to improve. That's why without statistics, that would be nothing of all of this. And remind to you about the lesson. Second part, it is does uh, indicators that you use uh, works. Does it have any edge and all of this stuff? Because at this moment, uh, I would like to show to you the most powerful indicators on the planet uh, that only institutional and bank use and compared to retails it's much stronger most of beginners uh, when they do analysis of charts they analyze only charts and that's it but institutional investors they do analysis of a footprint dome cumulative delta real money uh, flow indicators an example for you like a footprint uh, have a look on this example significant volume entered uh, bnb at 200 93 that significant volume entered exactly here and have a look my friend how that that volume become important support uh, for BNB and price jump by eight percent. That's example for you how a stuff that you don't see when you analyze a chart, you open a chart, you don't see that some people bought insane amount of BNB at that level. But it works. If you don't see it, it doesn't mean it uh, works. That's why also this lesson about what's DOM footprint uh, you'll find in the description and in the cards. There would be two lessons for you. Uh, watch because it is uh, the most powerful indicator. Because there could be a problem that your indicators, your approach doesn't work and won't work uh, in the long term. That's why learn this one. Third part, it is about statistic. Let me show to you by uh, several trades uh, that I did, how statistic can help you make more money. Let's cover two examples. It is first one on FIL uh, coin, second will be on a BTC. Have a look. We use uh, the Vow Team special service where you can track all your trades. It connected to Binance, uh, read only. Uh, and uh, it uh, take all data and I can see where I open a trade, uh, set stop losses, all of this stuff. And have a look. 
uh, we took a trade because uh, in a footprint like on BNB that I showed to you a few seconds ago, significant volume enter. 538,000 coins someone bought at one single price. Uh, if you multiply by price of the coin, it is million of dollars. Millions. Someone bought million of coins. And you can see that big guy and you can follow that big guy. And have a look how after uh, price uh, moved, uh, big volume entered here. And have a look how price after that jumped dramatically. I get out here and here but it pumped additionally. Second example, uh, it is a BNB, oh, BTC, also beautiful profit, $468. And have a look, again, someone uh, bought uh, insane amount of BTC uh, on spot market, approximately 70 million of dollars. And of course, I moved also after that guy and have a look how it <laughs> even rose way, way above uh, my exit. Sometimes I am not a lucky guy and sometimes uh, like this one, I took short uh, because major reason of the short uh, because of this uh, major volume area. And uh, uh, have a look how the price, um, how the price uh, beautifully, beautifully uh, jumped after it took my break even. Because I can see that break even is really bad for me because my stop loss was here. If I wouldn't uh, get out uh, by break even, uh, I would still be in a position because my goal exactly was uh, uh, 16,160 and price exactly uh, reached uh, 16k. My friend, uh, me and my team working uh, hard to make really powerful and useful content for you. Uh, that's why if you feel that it is really useful for you, push like, subscribe, because there would be a lot of lessons that will help you make money on crypto and scalping. About statistic, uh, there would be a special link uh, in description where you can download this service, really powerful stuff. They have free version uh, that you can use. And the last part, it is a psychology, number four. Psychology important in trading because let's be honest. Be honest with me in the comments. How many times you open a trade because you were mad, you were crazy, you were angry, uh, like with really bad emotions. And in what cases it ended really badly. How many times you try to reverge? How many times you try to reverge uh, because price hit your stop loss, you open again because you thought you will uh, get your money back? How many times? A lot of times and in all cases it ends the same you lose and lose that's why it's the only one stuff that you can do when you have bad stuff you don't trade like for me when war started in ukraine and i was nearly kiev i didn't trade for several weeks because it was a madness uh, Parents of uh, my family uh, were uh, occupied, uh, there were uh, artillery strikes, all of this stuff. I couldn't trade and I didn't do it. I took a break for nearly one month. The same with you. If you have really troubles, don't trade. But there would be another problem. If you don't have savings, you cannot trade because you're forced to make money. That's a long-term problem in trading. And if you would like uh, to get answer how to solve that problem, write in a comment, I'll do and I'll help you. And at this moment, once more, watch a lesson about money management and watch a lesson about dormant footprint that will help you stop losing and make money in the future. See you next lessons.